Assalamu alaikum. Uh, in this short video, I am going to term uh, diversification and also the diversification ratio. Uh, explain korbo. Amra um, onake uh, as an investors often uh, try to invest and try to diversify our portfolio, but often we misunderstand the concepts and how important the term is and how it reduces our portfolio risk. In fact, uh, the billionaire investor, the hedge fund manager. Uh, Ray Dalio said uh, he termed actually diversification as the holy grail of investing. So what is diversification? So diversification is the magic uh, by which uh, by combining a set of non-fully correlated assets results in a portfolio whose risk is always lower than the weighted average risk of the individual assets. So what does it mean? It means if we combine a few investment uh, assets uh, where the assets have low correlation among themselves so then our overall portfolio risk reduces a lot um, uh, and uh, the term diversification ratio means uh, the risk of an equally weighted uh, portfolio of n securities divided by the risk of a single security selected randomly from the list of n securities for example if we have two assets like a and b and asset a has 20 percent risk the risk defined by here as standard deviation and asset b has 30 percent risk and we equally invested in those assets like 50 percent in asset a and 50 percent in asset b and we assume that these two assets have zero correlation which means they are uncorrelated assets. So, if we invest 50 percent in asset A and 50 percent in asset B, our overall portfolio risk or overall portfolio standard deviation will be approximately 18 percent. On the other hand, if these two assets had perfectly uh, positive correlation like if they were perfectly positively correlated which means they had positive one correlation in that case the weighted their overall portfolio risk would be the weighted average of individual assets risk which means the overall portfolio risk would have been 25 percent. So if we randomly select the asset A whose risk is 20 percent and our overall portfolio risk is 18 percent. So, 18 percent divided by 20 percent which means my diversification ratio is 0.9. On the other hand, if we randomly select asset B, in that case our diversification ratio would have been 18 percent divided by 30 percent equals to 0.6. So rather than investing 100 percent of our money at asset B, if we diversify by investing 50 percent of our money or whatever the person is investing some percentage of money from B to A, in that case we are reducing our portfolio much lower level compared to asset A. So, in that case the asset diversifying from asset B gives us greater benefit. So, the lower the diversification ratio the better. So, diversification is an extremely important term uh, often individual investors fail to understand that they invest almost all of their money in one securities uh, because they think that security will perform better and because of inadequate diversification we lose a lot of money because of bad time. Obviously there are cases where diversification does not work especially in terms of market crashes. However, even in that scenario the diversified portfolio is better compared to investing all of your money in one securities. So, in order to have a greater risk return ratio and in order to manage your risk, investors should diversify well. Thank you.